health care reform is an issue that stirs the emotions of many Americans. Yeah, I'm, I'm in favor of passing this bill because if we don't pass the bill, we're going to go back to the, to the beginning and have to start all over again. But starting over is exactly what these protesters outside President Obama's health care summit say they want. Kill the bill! Kill the bill! It's more of grandstanding than a genuine effort. And this summit, we wanted to make sure we'd send a message that, look, start over and get it right. Such conflicting views also reverberated at the summit, where Mr. Obama attempted to find common ground between majority Democrats and opposition Republicans. I'd like to make sure that this discussion is actually a discussion and not just us trading talking points. Um, I hope that uh, this isn't political fear where we're just playing to the cameras and criticizing each other, uh, but instead are actually trying to solve the problem. President Obama asked the lawmakers to start the discussion by focusing on the issues in the current health care bill where they find common ground, such as prohibiting insurance companies from ending coverage because of a pre-existing illness and reforming medical malpractice. But speaking on behalf of Republicans, Senator Lamar Alexandra wanted a more drastic approach. This is a car that can't be recalled and fixed and that we ought to start over. Alexandra asked Democrats not to push the bill through Congress without Republican support. He said the Democrats' health care legislation is too big and too costly. Our country is too big, too complicated, too decentralized for Washington. A few of us here just to write a few rules about remaking 17 percent of the economy all at once. The Republicans propose taking smaller steps at reforming the health care system. Their ideas include allowing Americans to shop across state lines for health care insurance and expanding health care savings accounts. The Democratic Party leader of the House of Representatives, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, said it is too late to write a new bill. I just hope that as we sit around this table, we understand the urgency that the American people have about this issue, how it affects not only their health, but their economic security. This summit comes after months of heated debate in Congress over health care reform. Some analysts say this may be President Obama's last chance at bringing the bill back to life. Even he concedes that differences between the two sides may be too great for compromise. At least we will have better clarified for the American people what the debate is about. A USA Today Gallup poll found about 75 percent of Americans think the summit will not produce a deal. In Washington, Elizabeth Lee, VOA News.